The United Kingdom has confirmed that it's sending Brimstone precision-guided missiles to Ukraine. This transfer is part of a steadily expanding supply of weapons to the country as Ukrainians continue to resist the Russian invasion. British government official James Heapy, the UK's armed forces minister, has confirmed that hundreds of Brimstone missiles will be sent to Ukraine, where the first examples should arrive in the next few weeks. This is a major development. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how British-supplied Brimstone missiles could be a terrifying prospect for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for macOS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. The supply of brimstone should be seen from the perspective of Britain's more aggressive stance vis-à-vis -vis Russia. UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has stated that victory for Ukraine is a strategic imperative for the West and Russian forces must be pushed out of the whole of Ukraine. This is the clearest statement that's been made yet regarding Britain's war aims, which have until now been limited to stating that President Putin's invasion of Ukraine must fail and be seen to fail. The brimstone is produced by Pan-Europe Missile Manufacturer MBDA. It's available in air-launched and ground-launched versions and has also been offered in ship-based form. It was originally intended for fire-and-forget use against mass formations of enemy armor, including a millimeter wave MMW, active radar homing seeker to ensure accuracy even against moving targets. Experience in Afghanistan led to the addition of laser guidance in the dual-mode brimstone missile, allowing a spotter to pick out specific and the highest priority targets particularly useful to minimize collateral damage when friendly forces or civilians were in the area. The missile was originally supposed to be an evolution of the original laser-based AGM-114 Hellfire, with the laser seeker replaced by a millimeter wave MMW seeker. During development, virtually the entire missile was redesigned, resulting in a weapon that, other than the external shape, bears no relation to the original. Each brimstone is a little under 6 feet long, has a diameter of 7.4 inches, and weighs 50 kilograms, or 110 pounds. The missile has a range of 60-plus kilometers, or 37-plus miles, and a maximum speed of Mach 1.3. Brimstone has a 6.3 kilogram or 14-pound tandem-shaped charge TSC, warhead that employs a smaller initial charge around 100 grams or 0.22 pounds designed to initiate reactive armor, followed by a larger, more destructive 6.2 kilogram 14-pound charge designed to penetrate and defeat the base armor. It's been estimated that brimstone is three times more effective than the AGM-65G Maverick missile against modern tanks, and seven times more effective than the BL-755 cluster bomb. In combat, 
brimstone has demonstrated accuracy and reliability both well above 90 percent, according to the UK MOD. Royal Air Chief Marshal Sir Stephen Dalton has said that 98.3 percent to 98.7 percent of brimstone fired in Libya did exactly what we expected. Brimstone is a fire-and-forget missile, which is loaded with targeting data by the Weapons Systems Officer WSO, prior to launch. It's programmable to adapt to particular mission requirements. This capability includes the ability to find targets within a certain area and to self-destruct if it's unable to find a target within the designated area. In addition to the semi-autonomous ability to decide its own targets, the brimstone has the capacity to determine where on a target to best impact causing the most damage. The missile's advanced sensor package includes its extremely high-frequency millimetric wave radar, which allows the weapon to image the target and hence choose a target location. Brimstone can be fired in several attack profiles direct or indirect against single targets, a column of targets, or against an array of targets. The latter utilizes a salvo attack capability for multiple kills per engagement. Once launched, the platform is free to maneuver away from the target area or engage other targets. It's unclear if the brimstone provided is the land attack or the anti-ship one. In its report on the topic, the Times newspaper states clearly that the brimstones being supplied are anti-ship weapons, although James Heapy is not directly quoted on this point. UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace, meanwhile, has said the brimstone missiles will be used over the ground. Wallace added that an anti-ship missile solution was being considered separately. The confusion increased when Boris Johnson suggested that brimstones could be mounted on the back of technical vehicles to hit targets in the Black Sea. The package to Ukraine will likely have a certain percentage of both variants. The land attack variant of brimstone will enable Ukrainian forces to strike high-value targets which are beyond the strike envelope of artillery and multiple launch rocket systems. This capability will fundamentally change the tactical scenario since the Russian forces will now know that they may have to face long-range precision attacks, chances of which were very limited earlier. It's to be noted that the West is sharing critical intelligence with Ukraine, which can be used to prioritize and target the most important assets. When it comes to anti-ship role, Ukraine has Neptune missiles, which have been used with dramatic effect in sinking the Russian Navy Black Sea flagship Moskva. But the missile has been inducted into service very recently and is likely to be available in limited numbers. In this situation, the Brimstone missile, which can be salvo launch and has a precision targeting system, will be very useful given the fact that Moskva's sinking with an anti-ship missile must have left a strong physiological impact. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.